from a secret location in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh my God! And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOP. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. The Tom Likas Show now with zero tolerance. That's right. One curse word and we hang up on you. Now, we started this policy today and in the first full hour, we had 100% compliance. As predicted here. No more calling in here and saying the F word and going, ooh, whoops. Sorry, dude. You're out. The minute, the minute you say the F word or any other curse word one time, uh, we're not going to hit the dump button and keep talking to you. From now on, we're hanging up on people. And I'm doing this to prove that you people are not as stupid as you sound. You know exactly when you're saying a curse word. You're all just uh, trying to slip one by me. And the way we're going to stop you from doing it is we're going to hang up on you the minute you do it. <laughs> Love it. It's Like It's 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. I am your professor. This is Rosa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hey. Um, I'm just wondering, I've listened to your show, and um, you seem to not like women a whole lot. Oh, I love women. Everyone should own one. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, I'm just wondering what your relationship is with your mother. Well, uh, it's kind of hard to have a relationship with a corpse. Well, what was it when you were a young man? Fantastic. Really? Yes. And you would say that with all the women in your life growing up, it was that way? With all the women in my life, with all the people in my life. So some people you like, some people you don't. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You come across a little bit like you hate women. But I don't hate women. No. There's well, no one I'd rather have sex with. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, I guess because you advocate to men to sort of use women like objects. Well, so you, you are an object. No, I wouldn't consider myself an object. By definition, you're an object. How so? Well, have you ever looked up the word object? <laughs> I haven't. Define, well, it for, define it for me. Well, darling, in fact, uh, let's not take my word for it. Let's go to the dictionary. Okay. I'm, I'm going there right now. I'm online. I'm going to go to dictionary.com, okay. which is the Merriam-Webster uh, reference uh, website. And I'm going to type in the word, and here it is, object. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to search object on dictionary.com. And here is the definition. Are you ready? Yes. Anything that is visible or tangible and is relatively stable in form. Are you visible? I'm not a thing. Are you visible? I am visible, yes. Are you tangible? I'm tangible, Are yes. you relatively stable in form? Well, my stability, hmm. Um, no, actually, um, again, you're defining a thing. Not Darling, a you are a thing. Well, I think I would... All people are things, by definition. And you're an object. Here's a red, number two. A thing, person, or matter to which thought or action is directed. So if I unzip my fly and direct action at you, you are an object. So you think it's okay to objectify women? Well, you I don't, I'm not objectifying you. You were an object to begin with. I could not possibly objectify you. By okay. definition of the dictionary, you were an object before you ever met me. Okay. So it would be I, impossible, therefore, to objectify you. 
Okay, I guess what I object to is uh, your advice to grown men. I understand, okay... The only person who could objectify would be an alchemist. Um, okay, explain that to me. Well, do you know what an alchemist is? Yeah, what's having to do with gold or the creation of gold, etc. Out of what? Out of um, different components? No, darling. Out of what? Out of nothing or out of... Uh, whatever, put it this way, gold is an element. An okay. alchemist would be someone who could create gold out of thin air. All right. An alchemist well, does guess... not, by the way, an alchemist does not exist in reality, like a unicorn, okay? That's like a legend. So right. an alchemist, an alchemist could objectify, because if you could take nothing and turn it into gold, uh, you are then objectifying. You're turning nothing into an object. You have therefore objectified. I cannot objectify something that is already an object. You, by definition, are an object, and you cannot be objectified, by definition. Okay, I guess, okay. You might buy a dictionary and start reading up. <laughs> no, okay, this is my big... Oh, no, not you. What do you need a dictionary for? Okay, let me just tell you what my big beef with you is, okay? Um, your advice... I got the big beef for you right here, dear. <laughs> you so wish. <laughs> Listen, um, I think that your advice might be useful to 18-year-olds, but when you it's have useful to 25-year-olds, 30-year-olds, it's useful to anybody who wants to get laid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once yeah, someone's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> once someone's a little bit older, I think that they want a little more than just... Those people pay. listen to KFI. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. People who want meaningful relationships listen to KRLA. They don't listen to me. <laughs> one eight hundred five eight hundred. Do they listen to Michael Savage talk about autistic children? <laughs> Those are the people who want meaningful relationships. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, that's our telephone number. JC on Like Us One Hundred One. Hello. Hey, hi. What's going on with you? Hey, hi, ho, yes. Hey, hi, ho. Well, I'm calling because I do think I agree with a girl that called, I don't know, maybe three calls before, where, you know, guys might get the wrong idea by thinking that, you know, your advice is saying okay to, to date rape when a girl is drunk. When did I say, I when did I ever, well, when did well, I uh, stop? When did I ever say it was okay to commit rape on this program? I listen to your uh, 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 uh. date and time, please. When specifically did I say it was okay to rape on this program? Hi. This. Thank you. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. That's our telephone number. Cynthia on Lycus one hundred one. Hello. Hi. I just was curious um, how you felt about interracial relationships. Love them. Oh, you do? Love them. Can't get enough. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to know your opinion. Anyone listening, I'm open for one right now. Oh, <laughs> actually, I'm already in one, so I can't help you out there. Oh, you know how it works here in L.A., though. Eventually, you'll be in the uh, you'll be in the barrel again like everybody else. I don't think so. Don't you, I, I you really ever get those calls husband. from guys you know, every six months? Hey, how's married life? How's your boyfriend? How's huh? <laughs> How's it going over there? The guys you used to know, come on, they send you emails and stuff? They send you text messages? No. How's it going? <laughs> so um, they know eventually you're going to be out there available again. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Really? I, I want to know what... So you have met the man of your dreams. I have met the man of my dreams, yes. Uh -huh. How long <laughs> have you been with him? I've been with him for 11 years. We've been married for nine years. Mm -hmm. And we have two beautiful children, two boys, and we're all very happy. All right. <laughs> but what well, if you know anyone who's interested in an interracial relationship, you know where to send them. Okay. Well, Tom, I have a question. Another question for you, though. Yes. What What sort of inter inter um, racial relationships have you been in? Uh you, you just about name it, and I've been in it. Okay, so you've dated black women. Before. Yes, I have. Okay, I have been with did. women from around the world. <laughs> mm hmm. So, do you love black women? Well, I don't love anyone as a group, okay? Uh, okay. Now, do, That's good. Do I love the way black women can look? Yes. Do I love the way they are in the sack? Absolutely. 
Okay. Do Are I you love sure them more you than just... your? Uh, do I love them more than your average Wonder Bread white woman? <laughs> yes, I do. You do? Yes. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. Well, that that's all I wanted to know. I just was curious. I mean, I haven't listened to you very much, but my husband listens to you all the time, and so I just I just had that question for you. Well, now you know. Now I know. So you know where to send everybody. That's right. I'll send them right to you. Send them my, my way. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Cynthia. Okay, bye. I think she was surprised at that answer. And what are you going to do? She must be a new listener. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Betsy. This is going to be a good one. <laughs> Betsy, you're on the top like a show. I know. You don't like the name Betsy. I already caught that. Well, it's not that I don't like it. It's that nobody of an age I would date is ever named Betsy. I know, and it's always the cow or the car or something like that. Yeah, pretty much. If you <laughs> name me Elizabeth, it'd be a whole different story. Is Betsy your actual name, not Elizabeth? Yes, it is. And, you know, thank God because my grandma's name was Bessie, and Jesus, it could have been worse. <laughs> did she look like a Bessie? You know, she did. Her name was Bessie Ball, and I'll tell you what. Bessie Ball? I know, I know. And I've heard all the Bessie Ross jokes and everything, and I always act like I've never heard them before. <laughs> Just so you know. All right, I won't try any Betsy Ross jokes. I don't know a good Betsy Ross joke. Yeah, you know what? Oh, she didn't make the flag anyway. You know that her slaves did that. Please, help me out. Would know? that make you a flag hag? Uh, you know, that would make me kind of an older hag, which I'm really <laughs> sorry for, because in my youth, baby, you and I could have gone around. You were Betsy Ball, weren't yeah. you? Baby, I'll tell you what, I would have changed my name in a heartbeat for you. If your name was Betsy Ball, you wouldn't have to change your name. <laughs> or Betsy Ball a lot or something like that, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I agree with almost everything you say, and today I heard you say something I'm so Stunned. I can't What's, believe it. What is it? You actually said you didn't care about the other person's orgasm. Well, if they have one, they have one. But if they oh, don't... God, hey. Tom, come on, man. You're like my dream man. And I've even seen pictures of you. That doesn't dissuade me. Dude, look, you know? it doesn't mean I wouldn't enjoy it if you had an orgasm. But if you didn't, I'm not going to lose any sleep. Over. And you wouldn't help me out? Darling. Put it this way. Oh. If you told me what you wanted me to do and didn't make me guess, if you didn't make me buy a Thomas Guide to find out where to go to get the job done. Oh, please. If you needed a Thomas Guide, you wouldn't even get anywhere near me. <laughs> okay? You need to know that kind of stuff from the get-go. Well, right? When your name is Betsy Ball, I guess you do. Yeah, baby. But I, I just I heard you say that, and I thought, oh, my God. I, I, really? Because, I mean, I know I got the name you wouldn't do. And I know I'm too old, you wouldn't do. I'm married. Are, are you? Are, well, you'd do me life. anyway, even though you're married. But let me ask you this question. Yeah. Are you Are you still, for your age, hot? Oh, are you joking me, man? I am 5'2". I am 103 pounds. I am awesome. I still have the breath of an 80-year-old. Unfortunately, I have a 51-year-old ass for a husband. You have the <laughs> breast of an 80-year-old? An 8 year old no did i say 80 year old 80 year old yeah see you know what that's what happens tom you <laughs> stir me up really what can i say listen to that uh, you know and here are all these old girls out here getting stirred up and you don't care if we have one i am i'm shocked well, darling. i'm shocked and dismayed well darling since you're married uh, you don't have to worry about it isn't that great well, and I wouldn't anyway, because really, you and I would be the type of people that would just hang and tell each other jokes and probably have a good time. But I really thought that, you know, since you're just kind of the guru, and I just figured that you would be telling your boys that every orgasm counts as five years in heaven. and Every orgasm means you stick like glue and become human lint. And exactly, and so these girls that, you know... We're trying to unload you. We don't want you to stick like lint. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I get it. Oh, duh. Uh, <laughs> now it all makes sense, right? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Likas 101 ought to be a required course for every child entering elementary school. 
and then they should give it to them again in junior high, and they should give them a refresher course in high school, and if they ever make it to college, which I'm afraid most of your listeners don't, they should teach an advanced course. It's Like His 101 on the Tom Like His Show. Like is 101, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio. It's you and me. Now! Olivia, hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I have a question for you. Yes. Do you remind me of, like, Jeffrey Dahmer or something? Really? Some sort of Jeffrey like, Dahmer, I, is that so? Who have well, I, like, have I killed anybody? Well, you know, I just picture you, like, having some Do I have? Do, do I have somebody's head in my freezer? I don't know. Some sick fantasy of, like, getting the vagina and cutting it up. I'm just kidding. Why would you think that? What woman... What good that? is it if it's all cut up? Job. Some woman gave... A really good number job on you. A and good the only number thing job. I think of is a good mother, number job. What number or, job is that? Did, I don't know. Did your mother? Did you? Would you come over here and give me a number like job that? under the desk? Was your mother banging a lot of men, and you saw that, and now you hate women? <laughs> are you a psychiatrist? Are you a professional? How, who are you to be diagnosing me? Person, what are your mind. credentials? Who are you to be diagnosing me? I mean, you could only hear it. Who are you to be diagnosing me? I want to know your credentials. What are they? Do you have any credentials? What are your credentials? Hear the anger in your voice. Because you refuse to tell me your credentials. What are they? I don't need any credentials. You don't need any credentials to be psychiatrically analyzing people? In your voice. The hatred. Oh, yes. You're a professional, are you? I do not hear any men. What What do you do for a living, darling? Ew. You have a degree from which school? Ew. Which school do you have a degree from, darling? Well, I'd rather not disclose that. Oh, yes. ITT Technical Institute, probably. No. No. But you're not answering the question. No. What women Mount SAC, you dropped out. You. What? What woman did that number job on you? I number job? Really Donna, you come over here and do a number job on me right I now. I don't know. You're just so affected by this. Darling, I mean, now you're repeating yourself. You sick. Do you have any new material? Uh, okay, I do have new material. I'm waiting. Has it ever occurred to you that men really, really want to get married? I mean, there's a lot no. of... No. Uh, not once they married. know the danger. Not once they know that somebody like you getting your hands on our money, getting well, your hands on our ATM married. card... You tell them and they still do it. Why do they do Darling, that? Because, ni- because the highest rated radio program has 7% of the audience. 93% of the men at any given time are listening to any other I, station. You know, That's I why. I listen to you. I have That's, to the people to who listen aren't doing it. All right. Zero tolerance policy, darling. She said the S word and I dumped her. Off the air. Gone. Done. Yeah! It's the new policy on the Tom Likas show. One curse word and I hang up on you. I don't even give you a second chance. She did it. She's out. Anyone else want to take me on like that? Go ahead. You try cursing, you're gone. That's the first one under the zero tolerance policy that we had to execute. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Barbara on the Tom Likas Show. Hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> I just ran into your radio station about a month ago, and I am hooked. Good. But, but here's my dilemma. I've been dating my boyfriend for six years. We have two kids together. And I think more like you. I'm from California, but he's from Michigan. And ever since the beginning, when we, when I first got pregnant with my son, before I got pregnant with my son, he always talked about getting married. Why are you having now, kids? I was naive at the time. <laughs> uh, one kid, I would buy it. Okay. Why did you have a second kid? Actually, the second one, I didn't know about her until I was six and a half months pregnant because I was on the double shot. So she was a surprise, and I was on birth control at the time. Mm-hmm. So that one was not expected or planned. But the first I one, I was pretty naive. <laughs> but no regrets. We, we're still together, and he's from Michigan. Like I said, he just moved on here 
from Michigan. He's from know. Michigan and you're from Upland, California? Yeah. So what did you mean about the Internet? No, we were both in the Army. You were in the Army? Yes. I see. We were both on active duty and we met in the Army. I see. What university do you attend? None. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why? Not enough time in the world. And I tried going to school. I did go to college for two years, but I actually, I couldn't handle it. Going to school and working full time no. and with the kids. I actually almost... Yeah, but wait a minute. Why, why did you have kids before you went to Why didn't you go to college first? Like I said, I was naive. So you didn't I, know how women got pregnant? Yes. Well, if you knew, well, in what way were you naive? Um, I should have been more on the birth control. I should have been more on it. What does that mean? That you were just you were just dabbling. You were just dabbling. No, every now and then I was using a condom and all the time. <laughs> so you weren't using condoms all the time, and you weren't on birth control yourself. Correct. Yeah, I wasn't even on birth control. Yeah. Oh, see. And this was because you were naive? And stupid. I'll admit to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now that it's all said and done, I can go back and reverse it. But my question is, he's been wanting to get married. He's not pushing as much anymore, but he still wants to get married. And um, like I said, I'm like you. I see all the divorce rates here, and no one in my age group stays married for longer than a year, so I don't really believe Oh, for a woman, you've got nothing to lose. Uh, if it doesn't work out, he'll have to pay you. Well, if it doesn't work out when I'm married or not, he's going to pay me because I have his kids. Yeah, but uh, when you get married, you can also uh, knock him, uh, get, get him for, uh, you can get him for vagina money, too. Yeah, but I don't care about the money. I, I pretty much... You don't care about the money? You know, just enough to survive, but for extra money, like some women do, no. Ah. And also for the child support, I would like to buy as much as I can on my own. And whatever child support I would get, I would put into their safe. So then don't get married if you don't want to get married. I knew you were going to say that. I just, <laughs> but he doesn't want to get married. Well, I said if you want money, you should get married because uh, women get money. When you get married and it doesn't work out, you get money. Would be the only reason? Oh, well, for some women, that's a good enough reason. Now, what about the reason for he's going to Kosovo probably in November? He's scheduled to go to Kosovo for a year or more. The only reason why I would want to get married now... Oh, is because, because you could be getting widow's benefits. No, it's not that. Oh, honestly, yeah. No, honestly, it's because if something were to happen to me, he, they won't bring him down on emergency leave to watch the children or to see how they are. Or if, if you I marry him and then he gets shot down in Kosovo, you're going to be getting all the gravy. Are you kidding me? Big yeah, cash all up. I have life insurance, too, and he would get a lot of money if something were to happen to me here in a car accident. But if, I'm more worried about if something were to happen to him. Again, if he's in the military hospital, I wouldn't be able to see him because I'm not blood-related to him and I'm not his wife. So... Would that be a good reason to get married? If, if you care it? about that. Yeah. Look, women have nothing to lose by getting married. It's really. It's you have nothing to lose. So there's no right or wrong. It's just... Well, I, I say men have something to lose, but women don't. Well, but I would feel guilty married for the wrong reasons, too. Well, darling... <laughs> <laughs> That's a, and I darling, know. marriage is nothing more than a corporation. No. It's a financial arrangement. That's what it is. Just a paper. No, it's a financial it's a arrangement. It's a you're forming a corporation. Okay. And also, I have one more question that's been bugging me. To separate from this, um, I have several two aunts actually that are in their fifties and they're dating twenty four, twenty six year olds. What is up with those the men that age dating? Older, and they one of them moved in with my aunt. What is up with the mentality of them? Do you know? Can you fill me in on that? Cause the, I do not the, they they they, they like sex and they want to get laid. Why move in? What's that? Why move in? So they can get laid on a regular basis. <laughs> is re that's really it? That's all it is. What do you think it is? 
because I think that's so bizarre. I was going to say something else. There's a lot of it going on out there. <laughs> yes, there is. I hear it left and right, and two of them are my aunts. <laughs> there are there are cougar bars. We've talked about them on the air. Okay, I just wanted to know. Thank you, darling. I'm here to help. Tom like this. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Tom like 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 this. Do you teach the guys no foreplay? Well, put it this way. I tell the guys, your main concern is getting what you came for. Oh, my goodness, Tom, this is horrible. This is not romantic. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood. Like us 101 with your professor. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Terry on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Good evening, Tom. Good evening. Well, I have a dilemma, and I know that you're the man to talk to you about stuff like this. Yes. I am 29 years old. I have this girl I've been dating for a year now. Um, our one year anniversary was in June. And, well, she's almost 10 years older than I am. She's been previously married before, so have I. And she has a child with her previous marriage. Um, that they were together for almost... You are years. new to this show, aren't you? No, sir. Actually, I've been listening to you for almost four years, and obviously I can't get it through my head. So I needed to call the professor on this one. What is your question? Um, well, she is apparently having a problem with, um, I think, committing. Great. Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> I figured you'd say that. Um, well, if you figured I'd say it, why'd you call in? Um, well, because I'm kind of hoping that there's maybe a little bit... No, nah, you were hoping I was going to say, you know what, Terry, I've talked to a lot of guys. But this sounds like true love to me. This sounds like the exception to the rule. She's older than you. By the time you're 40, she's going to be 48. When you're 48, she'll be 56. When she's 65, you'll be 57. This sounds perfect. And she's got kids. And you need more responsibility in your life. This sounds like the perfect woman for you, Terry. Don't give up until you nail her. <laughs> That's what you were hoping for. No, not really. Yeah, 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 you were. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I give in. You're right. My, I guess my, my, my main question for you is that she is, like I said, she has a little bit of a problem with committing. And Great. I love her to death. And everyone, you know, that tells me that I'm dating her just to be patient. And uh, I, I'd, I'd go a step further. Consider yourself lucky. You've dodged a bullet, which came out of your own gun. Right. And uh, tell her, uh, you know, all right, you know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry I asked, and just to uh, move on. And if I were you, I wouldn't be in a relationship with somebody who has a kid because that means you're going to have more kids, right? Are you looking to have kids? Yeah, I, I am, and that's one of the problems that she's having is that she's told me that she doesn't think she wants kids, or no wants another child, and she doesn't think, or she says that she doesn't think that she wants to get married again. How lucky are you? <laughs> well, to most of your listeners, that would be pretty lucky. I guess the problem that I'm Why do you need to I be married? To Why do you need to be married? Well, I guess for the sake of the child, if I decide that I want to have children. She has a child. Right. But I want one of my own. Well, she doesn't want to get married or have children. So she's clearly the wrong person for you. Right. No. I guess there's nothing else to it than other... You can't change other people. Right. So if she told you that that's how she feels, that means you have to go. Right. Well, I guess that's the best thing for me, then. I mean, do you disagree? Do you think you can change oh. other people? No, not at all. Well, By all means, no, not at all. Then if you can't change them, and she told you that she wants something you don't want, and you want something she doesn't want, how much more do you need to know? Uh, absolutely nothing, really. Right. 
Well, you pretty much answered it then. <laughs> pretty I much pretty much did. That. That, yes, I did. Thank you, Terry. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. I'm your professor. This is Lycus one hundred and one. By the way, our international line is open. If you're calling from another country, the toll free number that we give you here does not work in other countries. So try this number instead. The country code is one. The area code is three two three, and the phone number is five two zero sixty two eleven. That's one three two three five two zero. 6211. Ahmed on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay, Ahmed. I like this uh, little Likas 101. It just doesn't work in my country. I called you a year ago. I told you about my uh, the way we do it in my country, about the Hail Mary. It doesn't really work uh, the way you guys do it. Ahmed, what country are you from? Iran, Iran. Yes. Yes, I told you, you know, if the, if the you know, beach is acting up and she, she gets pregnant, you go off the mountain and you kick her off. That's the way we do the, the, the whole uh, Hail Mary in my country. We don't do really? it. Really? Yes, you guys do this, this crap about uh, giving them McDonald's and this and that. You just kick them off the mountain next person up, you know. They learn their lesson. It goes on the news. They go, okay, we're not going to mess with this guy anymore. I see. Yes, I have a uh, good question for you, uh, Lycus. I uh, have a couple of businesses out here, and one of my business partners, he's been married for about uh, 11 years now. Yes. And uh, he is uh, getting a divorce, uh, of course, that's always how it ends up, but right. he's getting a divorce, and he, uh, he tells me that, uh, and he talked to my attorney and, uh, about that, the wife is going to take half our business? Do you know anything about this crap? That's what happens. They take half my business? That's right. She's never even been here. She doesn't even know the address to this business. Oh, well, she knows where your uh, checkbook is located. Oh my! I, this is this is why sometimes I hate America for these stupid laws they have. Oh my God! I didn't know it works like this. That's how it works. So it, it, what you're talking about this being a business when you get married? It really is a freaking business. Yes. Oh my God! I cannot handle this anymore. I don't know what to do with these bitches over here. You know why don't why don't more people listen to you? Just hump them and dump them. I, I agree with you, Akhvat. <laughs> <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom, the San Fernando Valley, check it in there. Uh, let's say hi here to Robert on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How are you, Dad? Great. That's amazing. Uh, listen, Dad. Not really. I got up. I felt pretty good today. <laughs> That's good. Uh, listen, I have a little bit of a, an issue right now because I know your policy about, you know, getting, dumping one of those, uh, ladies from the office. Well, the thing is that right now there's a lady in the, uh, that is an intern here in, the, in my office. And, well, she just invited me for, for a drink at her house. And I don't know if that's, you know. Do you like your, do you like your job? Oh yes, I. How would you feel I'm an if you? Architect. How would you feel if you lost your job? Well, pretty damn bad. I won't like. I, I definitely don't like like that. Uh, don't ask where you eat, Robert. Well, that's true. That's true. Well, I guess. Well, she's leaving next week. So, but anyway, now yeah, I'll take your she's, advice. Well, why don't you okay. tell her you'll see her the day after she's gone? Well, that's true. Yeah, why not? Yeah, you got me thinking. You got me thinking, Dad. Yeah, you're right. There's no rush here. Yes, that's true. But well, you know, she's a really hot girl. But you're right. I'm not. I'm gonna take your advice and you know say to her, you know, she'll uh, still be a hot girl next week after she leaves the company. Oh yeah. I definitely will. I'll so her, do I'll that. I'll help her back if you know what I mean. I I know what you mean. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Dad. Can you blast me out? Can I what? Well, take me out. Yeah, I'll take you out right now. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Daisy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Oh hi. Um. Yeah, I just wanted to say. Oh. Is that coming in clearly? Is what? Your child? Oh. Yes. N no. <laughs> um, yeah, I let my husband sleep with other girls because I know that 
you know, he's going to want to do that anyway. So I said, that's fine. You can sleep with other girls. Wow. What a deal. Yeah. I know, because I figure every guy who I know, like when he tells me what his friends are doing behind all of his, you know, their girls' backs, they're all doing it anyways, like all of them. Even guys who are like... So does your husband come home and tell you what he's been up to? Um, yeah. I mean, well, I, I want to be, like, involved in the decision. Like, we got a girl um, off the Internet once, and um, it was supposed to be a, th a threesome, but I didn't, wasn't really into her. So I said, okay, I'll, you know, I'll take a walk around the block, and you guys do what you have to do. And, and that's, you know, and then... Um, and then if he goes to Vegas, I say, you know, go ahead. If all the guys are getting hookers, you know, that's fine. And, you know, I just figure they're going to do it anyways, so it, why not? I mean, let, and then he's the happiest. Well, like, his friends think I'm the coolest, you know, out of everybody. Yeah. Now, does he let you do other people? No. No, he wouldn't. He would have a problem with that. I think mean, if he was uh, busy, I could drop by. What? <laughs> yeah. I think when he was busy, I could just drop by. Oh, goodness, yes. Well, yeah, I know. He, I think... I've got an open, open palm with your name on it. Oh, how sweet of you. Thank you. Oh, well. here to help. <laughs> how do you know I'd be your type? Darling, if you're available... You're open. You're an open kind of guy. <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> well, yeah, so that's all I had to say, because... Um, I just feel like, you know, I met him when he's young. We were both 25. Right. I knew that I wasn't going to be the only girl he wanted to have sex with the rest of his life. That's just true. That's crazy. So why did you need to get married? I'm um, just, I mean, we didn't really need to, but it just figure, you know, it's a nice thing to do. It's a I nice mean, thing so to do, and then your husband goes yeah. out and bangs other chicks. Yeah, I don't think that that's, I don't consider that a deal breaker i think other things are more disgusting if he was gonna but why I mean, why is it a double standard why couldn't you go out and get uh get um, nailed well just like you said you can't change people that's the way he is so i can't force him if i'm cool with something i you know i can't force him to be cool with it that's what if it was me what if i came over and took care of the job <laughs> well I, I don't know if i'd be attracted to you i don't i don't know it doesn't matter my God, you, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a little bit of strange for you. Yeah, well, so far I haven't really felt like it, so that's not my style anyway. So, what, what is your style? I mean, I'm happy with being with this one guy. I don't really want to sleep with him. And, and, and with all the women he's with. And with what? And with all the women he's with. Um, what about that? Oh, would I want to be with the girls? Well, have you had a threesome with him yet? Oh, no, I would like to. Um, I'm you would like picky. to? I, yeah, I'm picky about the girls, and he's not. Like, he'll be with ugly girls, and I don't want to be with an ugly what's your, what, girl. What's a hot chick to you? Um, I guess, like, you know, a, a really hot blonde, like Scarlett Johansson type or something. She's not yeah. blonde. Oh, okay. Well, The carpet uh, doesn't yeah, match the yeah. drapes. Sienna Miller, maybe? All right, Sienna Miller. You, but, but come on. This is your husband we're talking about. He's not going to be able to get Scarlett Johansson. Um, he's pretty. At, at, tons of famous girls have come on to him. Actually, he's pretty. Yeah, I, he probably could. Actually, randomly, he probably could. <laughs> really? But um, yeah, he's pretty. Yeah, he's pretty crazy looking. But um, he's crazy looking. Hang on a second, Daisy. Uh, Holly, what did you want to say to Daisy here? Um, I mean, I think she's a fool. I mean, um, you know, I, 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 not every, first of all, not everybody's husband, um, messes around with other women. First of all, I've been married for 10 years. My husband and I are monogamous. Otherwise, why bother getting married? You know, I, I just think she's re re why asking for trouble. What, why is it trouble? Where, why, I mean, why is that, why, sex isn't, what's the big deal? Then why aren't you having it with other men if it's not a big deal? Well, because I don't feel like it. I don't. That's, I don't, not, that's not true. You just got through saying your husband wouldn't put up with it. That's what you said. Well, they're both things, right? He wouldn't put up with it, and if I was single right now, I wouldn't be screwing around. I don't. I have a. If it's not a numbers, big deal, then why wouldn't your husband put up with it? If it's not a big deal, what's the big deal? It's not a big deal to me. Uh, it, to other people, I don't care if it is a big, a big deal. Well, it's a big. It's a big deal to your husband. Obviously, he's not letting yeah. you have sex with other people, right? Right. He wants to have sex with other people. So if I'm groovy with it, which I, I mean, I don't consider sex. I don't think it's, you know, the most terrible thing if somebody has sex with somebody. Oh, boy. The Tom Likas Show.